Welcome to the Ravens Space Fan Talk, where every week we talk to a Ravens fan, how they feel about the Ravens and the current ongoings um, in the season. It's the off season right now, so we're gonna talk to a Ravens fan about the draft and the free agency. Um, stay tuned. How are you guys doing? Uh, this is Jason from Ravens Space, and we're here with Alonzo. Alonzo, can you tell them where you're from? Uh, sure, yeah, I'm from Mexico City. Uh, Mexico, obviously. Yeah, super awesome. So. Uh, we're going to get into the questions. Um, again, this is a fan talk where Ravens fans talk about the Ravens. Uh, we do this every week, so please subscribe. And if you want to do the next week, just leave a comment below. Um, so, Alonzo, first, so we can get to know you. Uh, who's your favorite Ravens player? Uh, I probably have to say Ed Reed. Ed Reed? Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, every time I've, I've played uh, any sport related to football, uh, I play flag football. <laughs> Uh, I've always liked being a safety primarily because of Ed Reed. Um, his style of play was absolutely fantastic. He was a ball hawk. Uh, I remember a lot of him from, you know, all those years he spent with the Ravens. So, yeah, he's probably my favorite all-time player. And probably my current favorite player is Flacco. Uh, I know it's not <laughs> – I know he's not someone that all of the fan base loves, but – uh, I don't know. He, I, I think he's just fantastic. Yeah, I, I think he's strong armed and he can make all the throws. I just, I'm, I'm getting a little worried about him not being who I thought he was after the Super Bowl win. So definitely, I mean, I'm, I'm concerned a little too. But uh, yeah. last year was an injury year, and uh, I think he'll do better next year. So okay, and Ed Reed is also my favorite player of all time. So awesome. He was the first Ravens jersey I ever got with every jersey. So yeah, I need to get one of those. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we're just gonna hop into the questions. Um, we have five questions for you. Are you ready? Sure. Okay, so first question. What are your feelings about uh the free agency period from the Ravens this year? Uh, I think we did a, a pretty good job. Um uh, honestly, I would have liked it if we had kept Wagner. Um it was uh, it wasn't a surprise that he left, but I I think we had the money to keep him. Um, I'm over, overall pretty happy with how everything went. I mean, sign in Jefferson and Woodhead; uh, those are pretty big additions. And um, keeping Williams is also something pretty important for the team. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm overall pretty happy. Uh, there were a couple of moves that uh, the Ravens could have done. And how, how did you feel about use check? Uh, honestly, I think he was chasing the money a yeah. lot and we were going to give him either the money or the play time that he wanted. So it's, it's fine by me that he went to another team. Um, of course he was a great player for us. Uh, I would have liked it if he stayed a Raven, but I understand his reasons. And I mean, overall, I'm, I'm pretty fine with the decision of him going to San Francisco. At least he's out of the of the conference, so he's not going to be a problem for us in the future. And um, one last signing, uh, Carr. I really like that that um, that sign in. I know he's on the well. A lot of people would say that he's on the wrong side of thirty, but he is pretty uh, solid. He doesn't miss any games, so I don't know. I think he's a solid addition to to the Ravens and. I welcome that sign in. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Uh, so the next question, question two, what do you think the Ravens would do in the draft? Honestly, I think we are going to go with either a pass rusher or I thought we were going to go for a cornerback in the first, but uh, with the car sign in, I don't think that's going to be the way we go. Maybe we'll pick someone in the third or something. But my first um, – Thoughts would be that we either pick up pick up a pass rusher in the first, uh, maybe a wide receiver in the second, uh, center in one of our third picks, and maybe a corner with another one of our thirds. And from then on, it's just going to be pretty much depth guys. So I really don't. I've I've been hearing rumors that we might take an offensive tackle in the first round. How do you feel about I that? I really hope we don't. Uh, <laughs> 
I mean, last year we picked <laughs> Stanley. I wasn't really too happy with the decision at first. Uh, he proved me wrong, definitely. But yeah, um, I don't think we go tackle. Well, I wouldn't like it if we go with with a defensive tackle again. Uh, two years straight, we would have to pay. We would have to pay both of them in the future. So. Um, I don't know. I think it, it would put us in a situation that we're not going to be very well prepared for. And I don't know. I think we can find a tackle in the fourth or maybe someone in the free agency still. So I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't really like the decision of going with a tackle in the first. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So on to the third question, uh, as you've heard, Kamar Aiken was upset with the play calling last year. Um, what do you think of him, you know, just talking out about the Ravens and being upset and disgruntled. Uh, I kind of understand where he's coming from. He didn't get the play time that uh, he wanted. Uh, that might be because he didn't earn it, or that might be because the the scheme wasn't uh, a good fit for him. I'm glad he's going to another team that's probably going to use his talents a little bit better than we did. But I really never like any players uh, talking trash about their former teams, especially when, when we are the team that pretty much gave them a chance to um, come in and be an important player in the, in the league. So I don't know. I really don't like players uh, saying bad stuff about the teams they're leaving. It it just strikes me as something that's kind of immature. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I understand. Uh, I, I do think also that he earned. He got. He got the the bad end of the Ravens trying to get better receiver, and they signed a lot. And you know, it happens. It um, definitely happens. Yeah. Uh, the fourth question: um, What do you think the Ravens need to do in order to make the playoffs next year? Uh pass rush, pass rush, pass rush, and staying healthy probably. <laughs> um, on offense, we also have to improve a lot. Um, our offensive line was pretty solid at the end of the year. Now we lost Suda and Wagner, so that's going to be a question mark. Um, also, Dixon's suspension is going to be something that's probably going to um, be a factor for those first four games. Uh, I think he was really coming into himself at, at the end of the year. Um, honestly, it all depends on... Uh, having a, a healthy offensive line, keeping Flacco with with some time to throw, and maybe uh, a huge step forward from Perriman. I, I really have high hopes uh, for him, and I really hope he proves every, everyone wrong. I mean, I think he had a pretty decent, quote-unquote, rookie season. So, um, I don't know. I mean, posting 500 yards, three touchdowns in a pretty uh, – I want to say lacking offense is <laughs> <laughs> I mean his numbers were definitely not too bad he showed a lot of flashes if he can polish out his route running and hands I think he's going to be a big piece in the future and yeah that's pretty much it I mean our defense was pretty fantastic last season they fell out a little at the end of the year mainly because they were on the field for 40 minutes of, of each game so that's pretty hard to maintain the same um, level of play, but those those are the things that I think are most important. Okay, I agree. I, I like Perriman too. Um, he's built for to be a great receiver, but he just has to keep on taking those next steps. So definitely. Yeah. And then the last question: um, How do you, what is your prediction for the Ravens next year? How do you feel they'll do? Uh, I think we can take the division at maybe ten and six. Maybe even an eleven and five if if the draft goes right. Um, for now, I know that our biggest worry is uh, Pittsburgh, so uh, we're gonna have to compete against them. Uh, but I mean, with uh, Big Ben getting older and getting injured every every year, it's uh, I mean the division is wide open for us to to take it. Um, I'm also a little bit worried about the Browns. They're making the right moves, I think. They have a lot of, of draft picks. So um, they're going to have to be a team that we um, – we're going to have to worry about them uh, a little bit more this year than past years. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I think we can take the division, and um, it all really, 
really depends on who we match up against in the uh well i mean uh, i would like to say divisional round but it's probably going to go down to a wild card weekend so <laughs> um I don't know. Yeah, I think we can take the division. I don't know if we're ready to go to a Super Bowl. Maybe next year would be uh, a better year f uh, to do that. Mm -hmm. But I think we can take the division pretty handily if we manage to um, beat the Steelers uh, a couple times this year. Okay. So I'm pretty hopeful. Okay. Uh, I like that. I like that. So, again, those are all the questions, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, no, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, this is really cool. Uh, first, this is the first one, so I'm putting on my YouTube channel and you'll be able to see it. And all you guys, the fans will be able to see it too. Um, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, no problems. If you ever need someone else, I'm here. Okay, cool. All right, guys, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and go Ravens.